Ranching's a terrible business, grandson. Terrible? How? There's federal regulations, state regulations. These people in the city suing us. Half the herd looking for a hole in the fence so we can go wander into the forest and get eaten by a wolf or a grizzly. Well, if ranching's so hard, how can we do it? It gives us one hell of a life. Can you hear me better now? Um, my volume's all the way up and your voice is really low. Okay, I'll talk loud for you, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to put my hearing aids on. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to me this morning. Yeah, my pleasure. Well, um, let's talk about uh, your character, Governor Perry. Um, okay. Yellowstone at its core is about power and control, and Governor Perry thinks she's at the top and in, in control. Is she in control? I mean, she definitely has a degree of control, um, for sure. Uh, she's the governor, and that's a powerful position to be in. Um, but, you know, politicians like to play all sides and, and uh, try to keep everybody happy so that they can be loved and, and, and stay in power. So, yeah, she's, she, she's trying to play both sides a lot. And your character is a woman who's in a position of power, but she's also allowed to show her feminine and soft side, too, and her admiration for John Dutton. Uh, do they have mutual respect? A hundred percent. I think there's definitely a mutual respect there. We, it was a sort of a slow rollout about what their relationship was. I think you see glimpses of their flirtation in season one. And then in season two, you learn in just a couple of scenes that they've known each other for a really long time and that they both have suffered the loss of, of their spouse. And, um, and they're very, you know, connected in that way and and they respect each other um and they understand each other because of that so uh, yes there's definitely a mutual respect and a show like yellowstone it's always filled with violence and and, and intense drama but your summer campsite scene you, you approach these tender scenes they feel so honest and real with kevin costner who seems to be a really intense guy how do you approach those scenes with you two alone like that, just having a conversation? Uh, that, that was like my favorite scene. Uh, it was so good. I approach it because, well, Kevin is just such a really, truly kind and generous actor. He's very collaborative and um, he just makes you feel at ease. And I think that we really do, you know, we have a natural sort of, playfulness and chemistry together. And, and then, you know, the words on the page are always top notch. So um, I, I don't approach it with a lot of uh, nervousness because Kevin and I really hit, hit it off from the beginning. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy and um, a lot of fun. Well, you said that uh, the words just, do they jump off the page like they do on screen from Taylor Sheridan? Yeah. I mean, that's writing at its best right there. We can't, you know, it doesn't get better than that. So that's one of the, as an actor, when it's on the page, it's like more than half the battle, you know? Um, a lot of times you have to work with writing that's not so great. And then you have to try to finesse it and, and, and make it work. But that's never the case with his writing, which is a gift. And Governor Perry has a tough choice to make, the progress in people of Montana or the John Dutton legacy. Which way is she going to go, you think? I, everybody's asking me that, and I can't tell you. <laughs> I think that um, she, you know, she's stuck between a rock and a hard place this time, and I think that you're seeing her, 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 her struggle. It's, whatever she decides is not an easy decision, but eventually, you know, you got to pick a lane. And Wes, Wes Bentley is so incredible as Jamie. How does the governor see Jamie? Um, she has a real fondness for him. And she's always, you know, wanted to support him from the beginning and really wanted him to be in the political world. And John was really against it. And so I think she sees him as really capable of being um, a leader in politics. And she also feels that he's a little bit of an outsider in his family. So she has a soft spot for him in, in that way. And also I think because of that, 
he's more malleable for her that, that he's outside of the family. So he's, 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 a, he's an easier target as far as having an ally than some of the other family members. And you know, weird things happen in Hollywood. You play the governor of Montana on the biggest show on television. Does anyone in the state government recognize you or, or contact you to say that they're <laughs> <laughs> No, they have, they have, they have not. They have not, no. But um, I have, I mean, governors are certainly having a moment in, in, our, in the world right now. And um, I have all the admiration for them. And I'm, a, I'm an East Coast girl originally. I lived in New York for a really long time. So especially watching um, Governor Cuomo and his press meetings, I've sort of watched that. I'm like, oh, okay, that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> and finally today, everyone's heading to Montana soon. Are you heading up to Montana? Um, I'm sorry, my dog is barking. Everyone's in Montana, is that what you said? Are you heading up to Montana soon? I, I, yes, I believe so. I don't know exactly when um, it's to be determined, but yeah, that's the plan. Well, Wendy, thank you so much for talking to me today. Congratulations on season three. I'm so excited about season four too. And when you have a chance, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. Ah, uh, thank you. Thanks for this interview. It was fun. Thanks for being such a fan of the show. Keep right, watching. Take care. Take care.